If someone has suffered years of torment in the hands of another, should that person not go to prison because it was self-defense? Or should they have to pay for murdering another? This is the dilemma in the case of sisters Christina, Angelina, and Maria Kakachrian, who murdered their dad after years of being treated as prisoners and suffering mental, physical, and sexual abuse in his hands. One day, they murdered him after having enough. Should they have to pay for this? Before sisters Christina, 19, Angelina, 18, and Maria, 17, stabbed their father, 57-year-old Mikhail Kakatrian, to death, their mother tried to stop him. She went to the police numerous times to get help because her husband was extremely abusive. The neighbors also filed their own complaints because they lived in fear of the tyrant Mikhail. There is no evidence that the police ever acted on these complaints. This is a common situation in police where domestic issues are not investigated in Russia. Mikhail eventually kicked the sister's mother out and banned them from speaking to her. Mikhail was also doing the same to his own daughters. He had conditioned them from an early age to think they were slaves. He would repeatedly rape and beat them. And let's not talk the emotional and mental abuse. The sisters were his prisoners for years. On the night of July 27, 2018, while Mikhail Kakatrian slept, the sisters went into his room, stabbed him, hit him with a hammer, and pepper sprayed him. It is alleged that the youngest Maria had the hunting knife, the middle sister Angelina held the hammer, and the oldest Christina had the pepper spray. Aside from the hammer hits and pepper spray, he was inflicted with more than 30 knife wounds. Earlier that night, he had pepper sprayed Christina, Angelina, and Maria in their faces because they had not cleaned the home to his standards. After their father died, the three sisters called the police and turned themselves in. The sisters will go on trial in October. The youngest Maria will go on trial with her sisters but not be charged due to her age. Their attorneys are saying that the sisters acted in self-defense. In Russia, if there is a continuous crime, then even if it isn't in a moment of rage, it is still considered self-defense. The prosecutors are trying to jail the two older sisters for over 20 years for premeditated murder. Over 300,000 people have signed a petition urging that the sisters be released. Mikhail's relatives are split with some believing the girls and others not. An attorney for relatives who do not believe them said, There is no genetic evidence, no knickers, no audio recordings of the alleged abuse, this despite being given the latest iPhones. According to Media Zona, in Russia, 80% of women are held on murder charges after killing their abuser. This is one of the only murders that I feel more sympathy for the murderers than the victim. This father was slowly killing his daughters emotionally, mentally, and physically. I can only imagine that they felt alone and helpless. I am one of three sisters and know that feeling that you only feel that you have each other. I hope that Russia revisits how they handle domestic abuse cases, because if they would have listened to their mother, those sisters wouldn't have suffered the trauma that they had. It seems that this has become a major issue in Russia, and I am glad that activists are making sure that Russians don't forget about this case and other domestic abuse cases. Let me know your thoughts if you think the sisters should go to prison or should be released. There have been a couple of updates on this case. The first one is that the sisters were charged and sentenced for the murder of their father. But after the prosecution saw all the evidence, they decided that the sisters should not have to go to prison for that murder and they thought that it was self-defense. 
Um, the sisters were also released to family. They right now, um, from some sources, is that they cannot talk to one another or see one another. So that's one of the restrictions of them being let go and living with family. But now, as of May 2020, the prosecution still thinks that the sisters should be freed and just allow them to live their lives, especially after the ordeal that they suffered. But it seems like investigators are refusing to allow that to happen. So in the United States, if the prosecution, which is the DA, decides that a person should be free, that's usually what happens. I guess in Russia, there's a distinction between the investigators and the prosecution's office, and the investigators can continue thinking uh, a certain way. And if it's against what the prosecution's office thinks, then tension between the two, I don't really understand how it works in Russia. If anyone knows, please let me know, because I didn't understand how the prosecution can say, let them go, but the investigators can say, no, we're not going to let them go. So I would like to know that. But it seems like more than likely the sisters will be freed and they should because of what they had to suffer in the hands of their dad and those family members who are saying oh they had the latest iPhones and he never abused them there have been plenty of people who have backed these sisters there's even I just found out that he was dating a woman and she even said that he started being very abusive to her and to the point that she had to like run away. So it isn't just the sisters or their mother who is coming, who's saying these stories. It's also coming from a girlfriend. So just wanted to give you an update and hopefully soon these sisters can be freed and see each other and talk to each other because I can't imagine not being able to talk to my sister. And that's probably the way that they're feeling as well. Thanks for watching the video. Please comment below what you think about the case if you have more information. A lot of it was in Russian, so sometimes the translation was a little off, so it would be great if someone actually in Russia or knows Russian knows more about the case. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I'll talk to you soon.